In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People of Port of Spain. Amen. Amen. I stand here before you guys not even worthy of this. Amen. Glory, glory. Because the Lord has shown mercy unto me, I am here. Hallelujah. And it's because, you know, stuff that I went through, yeah. and I yield my life into God's hand and unto His way. And whether or not I, I yield unto him or not, he was going to have his way. That's correct, preach it, brother. Because whether we are for God or we live for God the right way or we just live to please ourselves, God will get the glory. That's correct. Amen. Amen. I want to share Amen. a scripture with you guys so you guys can further understand what I am telling you all. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. This is from Exodus chapter 4. And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thy hands. But I will, ha I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. And God went unto Moses and commissioned Moses to go forth unto Pharaoh, to go and set his people free. Amen. But the Lord said that he shall harden Pharaoh's heart. Now if the Lord wants his people free, why shall he harden Pharaoh's heart? Correct is right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why? And the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he might get the glory. Yeah. So that all of Israel may know. So all of us, 2,000 years later, may know, more than 2,000 years later, may know Man. who God is and know his power. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So Pharaoh's heart was hardened for a purpose. purpose. And the purpose was for God's God. glory. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glorify God. So your life, one way or the other, is going to give God's glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And my friends, I am here to tell you tonight that it's best to give God glory from on Moses' side than from on Pharaoh's side. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because Pharaoh had our God. story also. But his story was partly depicted in the Bible because him, it's not what God yeah, wanted us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But in the time, we will see that Pharaoh also has a story. Amen, amen, amen. Keep the And Pharaoh's story also gave God's glory, and he was not worshiping God. Hallelujah. But his story gives God glory one way or the other. So, friends, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now is the time. I am letting you know tonight. That one way or the other, whether you allow God in your heart tonight or sometime else, or you harden your heart, that God is going to get the glory. Because if you live for God, if you are not a testimony unto God, you shall do something that somebody is going to testify unto God against you. Blessings, Brother Joey. It's Hallelujah. Remember I tell you that. Moses' right. testimony. It's already been passed. Remember Moses' testimony against Pharaoh. Yeah. And it's God who happened Pharaoh's heart. So I'm saying tonight, friends. You understand it? Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 So, so no, no way, 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 which way, side way, did you think going? Glory on. You understand? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Because he is going to get the glory. He is going to hear Lord. The word of God says, no, even oh, yes, yes. we, yes. as yes. human beings, we create to worship him, refuse to do so, he shall raise the stones up to worship him. Because he is the almighty God and he is worthy of all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. So if you don't testify, if your life is not a testimony unto God, it's going to be a testimony unto God against you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This life that we live here, that we get up every morning and we put on our clothes and we get about our business and we believe that this life is for us. We believe that we get a good job, we earn some money, we build a house, we buy a car, we do this, we do that, we send our children to school. It's for us. Amen. Friends, I am here to tell you tonight, your life is not for you. That's right. We were not placed on this earth about our own business. It's not about our own business. We were not placed here to satisfy our needs. That is why it has million years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Committing suicide. It has million years killing themselves. And we want real money. Because we believe that that is going to satisfy us. But the word of God says, Hallelujah. That he who seeks him diligently shall be filled. That's right. Hallelujah. The Lord didn't say, the Lord didn't specify what he shall be filled with. Him. He said he shall be filled. That statement is complete. He that diligently seek the Lord shall be filled. You can run down woman. I've been there. You can run down alcohol. I've been there. You can run down marijuana. I have been there. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for his mercy. Hallelujah. You can run down money. I have been there. You are not going to be filled. Hallelujah. Because these things satisfy the flesh. And we are so much more than this flesh. That is why, but tonight, you ain't even bound to be up in the morning. Mm. My brethren, what you say? <laughs> Then when I was school, wait. You see many years, you watching my laugh because you know I was in school. <laughs> we was so easy at all. Bless God, man, but we're here. But we are here. And there's only one person we owe that to. That is the Almighty God. That's right. Now, we, these things satisfy satisfies our flesh. And we are so much more than the flesh because as you see a bunch of two, you're bending down, you're balling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even we can go as far as when you're dead, what is up to the flesh? It is just rotten. Some of us are rotten before we die. Because cancer taking over and eating us away. This flesh that we live to satisfy, we are so much more than the flesh. So that is why these things, when you run down these things, you cannot be filled. I know why I tell you guys you all already know. Because when I run a young woman, drugs, money, ranking thing, wherever I run a young woman in the night, and it's just you alone there, you're feeling that emptiness. You're feeling that emptiness. We just hear it, we just hear it on the news. It's a million years committing suicide. Million years, it's a guy. I was watching a program, the guy. Going to the, a place they call it the Bonnie Farm, like a real exclusive whole house, if you want to say. And this man, a real man, is a helicopter bringing him on there. And he calling in front, and they're lining up, she had the best thing they have. And he even looking for no sexual knock no, He just want a, a little companion. He paying top to not carry them, telling them to dinner. And to just talk. Because he said, because of all the money he has, he cannot trust anybody. Is that being filmed? He don't even have a wife to go to when the night comes. He don't know children in the letter on our own and say, Daddy, Daddy, you know. And these things is joy. These things just bring joy to you. And even though you have these things and all, with all the Lord, it's still ain't even filled. So the only way that we can fill that void, we can fill this hole inside. 
the word of God said we have to diligently seek him. That's right. He that diligently seeks the Lord, hallelujah, shall be filled. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So friends, I'm not long tonight. I just want to let you guys know that one way or the other, your life is going to be a testimony unto God. Amen. Moses' life is a testimony unto God against Moses. Pharaoh's life is a testimony unto God against Pharaoh. Moses' life is a testimony unto God through God. Amen? Amen. So let us know which side we're giving God glory on. Which side we are test being a testimony unto God. Which side are you testifying on tonight? Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you honor, O oh Lord God. O oh Lord God, we just ask that your word, O oh Father God, go forth tonight, O oh Father. O oh Lord God, and pierce the hearts of your people, O oh Lord God. O oh Father God, that little seed that was planted tonight, O oh Lord God. O oh Father, may it be watered on some on, on our next occasion, O oh Lord God. May you water it, O oh Father God. And may it bring forth fruit in its season. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. He's the King of Kings and He's the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we bless your name tonight because you are God and there's no one else like you. Father Lord, we thank you for what you have done for us and all that you are still doing. Yes, we Lord. thank you for being our sovereign, mighty, wonderful counselor, Prince of Peace, Lord. We thank you and we bless your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Brothers and sisters, uh, I greet you in the name of the Father. I greet you in the name of the Son. And I greet you in the name of the Holy Spirit. And we believe...